When I got my offer from Google and I saw how much they were going to pay me, it felt like a dream come true because all my hard work finally paid off. Of course, I had some idea of what to expect regarding my compensation, but it hits different when it's real and official and in writing. If you're watching this video, chances are you know that software engineers at Google make a lot of money, and it's true, but how much is a lot and what does the average software engineer at Google make? If you want to know more, keep on watching. Before we begin, I just want to give a quick disclaimer that this video is not meant to brag or to show off how much money I've made. I'm making this video to be informative. How much money Google software engineers make is actually one of the top questions I receive on my comments and on my Instagram. Secondly, I'm making this video to inspire others by showing just how much money you can actually make as a software engineer at Google because it's a life-changing amount. And thirdly, it's a video I wish I had because I actually didn't understand my total compensation when I first signed my offer letter. It's something I had to learn along the way. With all that in mind, let's get back to the video. Hey everyone, I'm John, your friend in tech. If you're new to my channel, I'm a full-time software engineer at Google who loves making videos to help and inspire others about career, tech, and life. If any of that interests you, consider subscribing, maybe? Okay, let's get straight into the point of the video. As you can tell from the title, I have earned over $1 million in my career as a software engineer at Google. Not clickbait, it's 100% facts. To give a little bit more context, I'm still fairly early in my career. I've only been working for a little bit over five years and I'm still in my 20s. And this amount of money is a big deal to me, especially because I don't come from a wealthy family. I understand that I'm very lucky and privileged to be in this position. And so that's why I'm sharing this information so that more people have access to it and can act on it. In today's video, I'm going to share how much money Google software engineers make at each level. I'm going to explain in depth how total compensation at Google works because it's so much more than just salary. And then I'm going to talk about my path and how I reached my million dollar milestone. I have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get right into it. How much do software engineers at Google get paid? In this section, I'm going to share real compensation figures from actual Google employees. And to get this data, I'm going to use a website called levels.fyi, which is a website where tech employees anonymously share their total compensation. As you know, pay discrimination is real, and so by sharing your salary, you're helping make sure that everyone gets paid fairly. And so that's why all these tech employees share their salary on this website. One thing to keep in mind is that pay varies by location and level. All things equal, a software engineer will get paid more working in Silicon Valley over a smaller city like Austin, Texas, because Silicon Valley has a more competitive market, the cost of living is way higher, and so many more other factors. Just know that when you're looking at these salaries, make sure you're looking at the location as well. And by level, I mean job role and title, and so in this video, I'm only going to be covering the software engineer role, and then I'm going to be talking about the different levels, like entry level, mid level, senior level, so on. Okay, so let's dig into the actual numbers, and I'm going to be using Bay Area salaries because that's where I'm from, but later on, I'll share some compensation values from other locations as well. At Google, the entry level software engineer starts at level 3 or L3. Base salary is $139,000, equity is $35,000, and bonus is $22,000, which which comes up to an average total compensation of $196,000. So it's very possible to be making multiple six figures as an entry-level software engineer. Level three includes people who just graduated, so new grads, and also people who transferred in from other companies who are still entry-level. The next level is going to be the mid-level software engineer at Google, and that is level four or L4. Base salary is $168,000, equity is $83,000, and bonus is $29,000, which adds up to a total compensation on average of $281,000. You can stay at level four for your entire career if you want to. I know someone that's been in L4 for over 10 years and it's just a personal decision. Their reasoning is that they find the job relatively easy to do and so that's totally valid. But I also know a lot of people who try and get to at least L5 which is senior software engineer. So level 5 software engineers at Google will get a base salary on average of $198,000. They get an equity of $138,000 per year and the bonus is $37,000 per year which adds up to a total compensation of $374,000 per year. As you can expect, as you level up and get promoted, you're going to have more impact and more responsibilities in the company, which is why you get paid a lot more money. And just to show how much money you can make as a software engineer, level 8 is the principal software engineer and they make over $1 million a year. And then I also made this table that lists the average total compensation of Google software engineers from different locations at each level, and I converted it to local currency, so I hope this is helpful. It's not an exclusive list, so if you don't see your location here, you can always look it up on levels.fyi or another 
another site like Glassdoor. So pause here if you want to compare. Otherwise, let's move on to the next section. Okay, how does total compensation at Google work? Total compensation at Google is structured so you get paid in three different ways base salary, bonus, and equity. In this section, I'll be going in depth about how each component works and how it affects your income. First up is base salary, which is the most straightforward. Base salary is paid out in cash and it's transferred to your bank accounts. Your base salary is what you're gonna be paid in your paychecks that happen throughout the year. For me, I live in the US and so I get paid about every two weeks, which equals about 24 paychecks per year. And my salary is pretty evenly distributed between all of those paychecks. Here's a table showing examples of base salaries and the associated paycheck values pre-tax. If your base salary is $150,000 and you get paid 24 paychecks throughout the year, that gives you about $6,250 per paycheck or $12,500 per month before any taxes are taken out. Taxes are really important, but they're going to vary depending on your location. And so if you want to estimate how much taxes are going to be taken out of your paycheck, you could just Google your location plus paycheck calculator, and that'll give you a good estimate. Next up, let's talk about bonus, which is also paid out in cash. Now there's actually a lot of different bonuses you can have and so I'm just going to list them all out. Sign on bonuses are going to be a lump sum bonus that you receive for signing your offer letter. This can vary depending on what other job offers you have. Google uses the sign on bonus to incentivize you to join their company versus joining some other company. My sign on bonus was $20,000 and it was paid out within the first 30 days of me joining the company. You can also get a relocation bonus if you have to move to join the company. This should cover things like flights, travel, and any other moving costs. For me, I received a $3,500 relocation bonus because I had to move from my college college town back to the Bay Area to work at Google in their headquarters in Mountain View. When you're working at Google, you can also get bonuses from other employees at Google. So someone in your management chain or one of your peers that want to recognize you for your hard work or for going above and beyond your normal work duties. So a good example of this is volunteering to help another team or something like that. This year, I received about $6,000 in these types of bonuses. But the big bonus that most people talk about when it comes to your total compensation will be your annual bonus. And that's going to be a percentage of your base salary. The exact percentage will vary depending on how you perform throughout the year. So basically it depends on your performance reviews. If you meet expectations, you can expect a 15% bonus. If you exceed expectations, you can receive a slightly larger bonus. And if you don't meet expectations, you'll receive less bonus. This year I performed well, so I received a 20% bonus on top of my base salary. And then here's a chart to demonstrate what I'm talking about. Using the L4 Bay Area average base salary of 168000 here's what a bonus would look like at different bonus target percentages. Next up, we'll talk about equity, which is in the form of restricted stock units or RSUs. At Google, we call them Google stock units or GSUs. When I first joined Google right after college, I had no experience with stocks. And so this was the hardest for me to wrap my head around because it was all new to me. The only things I knew about stocks were things I seen on TV or in the movies. Your total compensation will come with an equity grant, which is valued in USD, but you're not going to be paid in USD. You're going to get paid again in stock. So you know for your salary, you're going to get paid in cash into your bank accounts. For your equity, you're going to get paid in stock and it's going to go into your brokerage account that Google will set up for you. There's a lot of nuance to know here, but I'll try and simplify it using an example. Let's say you joined in January of 2017 and your equity grant is valued at $100,000. The stock price at that time was 796, which means that you'd get 126 stocks over four years or 31.5 stocks per year. Now, how you get paid the 31.5 stocks will vary depending on your vesting schedule. In this example, just to make things super simple, we're gonna assume that you get paid all 31.5 stocks at the beginning of each year. And just to clarify, this isn't a realistic vesting schedule. It's just to make the example really simple. So in January of 2018, the first quarter of your grant will vest at a price of $1,170, which means you'll get paid $36,855. Now, you're still getting paid the 31.5 GSUs, but the value of your Google stock has increased so you're gonna get paid over $11,000 more than the grant price. In January of 2021, the last quarter of your initial equity grant will vest at a price of $1,835, which is the price of Google stock at that time. In this vesting period, you're going to get, again, 31.5 Google stock, but now it's valued at a total of $57,802 and that's going into your brokerage account. And once these are transferred into your brokerage account, you have all the power to sell the stock if you wanna get it as cash, or you can hold on to them as Google stock if you want to. 
Okay, and that was just for your initial equity grant. You're also able to get a new equity grant refresh every single year, which again will vest over four years. And so you're gonna have times when you have multiple equity grants vesting at the same time, which is a really happy day for my brokerage account. So I hope I didn't lose you with all of those numbers, but basically what I want you to take away from this is that equity can really drive up your total compensation if you stick around long enough for your stocks to fully vest. And of course, this assumes that Google stock will continue to increase in value as well, which it has been doing for the last few years. To recap, you get paid your total compensation in three different ways. Your base salary, which is cash deposited through your paychecks. You also get bonus, which is also paid out in cash into your bank accounts. And then your equity is paid out in Google stock, which is transferred directly into your brokerage account, which you can then buy or sell. Hopefully that all made sense. If it doesn't, or you still have questions, let me know in the comments and I'll reply to every single one of them. Now let's talk about my career path to $1 million. Now that I've gone over how much software engineers at Google make and how total compensation at Google works, I hope you can see that making $1 million is quite an achievable feat for any Google employee. This is one example of how I did it and what my path looked like to $1 million. So I joined Google in 2016 after I graduated from college and I started out as an L3, which is the entry level software engineer. As an L3, I performed really well and I was promoted to L4 or mid-level software engineer after one and a half years of working at Google. When you get promoted, you also get a nice bump in your total compensation. So now you're gonna be getting paid at the next level. I've currently been an L4 for the past three and a half years and I've been getting high performance reviews again. So my total compensation has had a nice bump every single year as I'm on track to become a senior software engineer. So one part of the equation was hard work and that's honestly the only thing I had control of, which is the quality of my work. The other part of the equation is going to be the amazing run-up that Google stock has had these past few years. When I first signed my offer letter, I was still in college and that was one year before I started working full-time and two years before my first stocks actually vested. From the time I signed my offer letter to the time my last stocks from that initial equity grant vested, the Google stock vesting price was more than double the grant price, which really boosted my income. Ultimately, I was able to earn $1 million thanks to my promotion early on in my career for performing at consistently high levels and because the Google stock increased so much. My final message for you is that if you want to work at Google, you should apply as soon as possible. There's really no reason to wait. Just consider all the money you could be making if you do get hired. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't seen it already, I recommend you to watch my Q&A video of how I landed my job at Google. I'll see you in the next one.